Should parents have the option to send their kids to a private school instead of their local public school? It's a big question in Arkansas these days. In political terms, this debate is called school choice. The answer is a difficult one, depending on who you ask. Our Andrew Epperson went to a rally this morning. People there say the answer is pretty easy. At first glance, this looks like a big school assembly of some kind. Wave your scarves. But take a look at the signs and listen to what's being said. We appreciate you guys supporting National School Choice Week. And you can see this is a rally for school choice, an education policy that allows parents to choose between public and private schools through vouchers or scholarships. We're really excited to be here. This isn't new for Josh Spielmaker in prison, private school in Fayetteville. He's made the yearly trip down for this rally for nearly a decade. School choice was one of the reasons that we started, so we're, we're big, big advocates. Spielmaker says having a governor who prominently supports school choice makes this year's gathering a little more hopeful. We would love to be able to see our funding follow our students where they're where they're attending school. Supporters say kids shouldn't be limited by their zip code or financial situation. Opponents say private schools can choose who they accept, creating its own problems. If you're willing to take out a few and leave the rest of them behind, you're still leaving kids behind. Joyce Elliott's a former educator who recently served as a Democratic state senator. She says school choice would take money away from public schools that really need it. I'm not against private schools, and maybe I want a longer private driveway, but I don't expect to have the public money used to, to pay for my driveway. But for school leaders at the rally Monday, <laughs> school choice is the song they'll keep singing. For the power to be in the hands of the voters and not just in the legislators is a really great thing, so um, support school choice. In Little Rock, Andrew Epperson.